This video shows the first feasibility demonstration of haptic rendering and virtual fixtures used to telerobotically interact with objects underwater. In this demonstration, the user will attempt to touch two underwater objects with a robot end effector. The operator commands the robot position by moving a haptic device, which also provides force feedback to his hand. The operator will be allowed to touch the blue object, but prevented from touching the red one. In this small-scale demonstration, we are using a water tank, a commercially available RGBD camera that views the object through the water, and an available cable-driven robot. In the water tank are the red and blue target objects. The operator will be prevented from touching the red object because of the virtual fixture. However, the operator will be able to touch the blue object with a robot end effector. We can see the operator trying again and again to touch the red object, but being unable to do so because of the protective virtual fixture. From the camera's images, a point cloud representation is generated in a virtual environment. The location of the robot end effector as commanded by the operator input to the haptic device is shown. In the virtual environment, we compute a dynamically changing forbidden region virtual fixture to protect the red object. The blue arrow shows the resisting force applied to the operator through the haptic device. Here we see the operator repeatedly touching the blue object and not being able to touch the red object. When this technology is implemented using an underwater robot arm and appropriately designed end effectors, all attached to an ROV, it will provide a means to move, manipulate, and physically capture underwater objects while not touching prescribed areas.